to DQM J3 of my new series of one of the most legendary games out there. This is my first playthrough through this, through this legendary game. And I know this you guys are like really like excited for this game. So yes, last time we were asked by Jaw or Nakoro to um uh, to save the king of Gl uh, from Gl uh, the to save the king of the Nakoro from the king of Glutton's Keep and the civilians who the what was his name Boshok uh, planned to eat. So <laughs> let's not get eaten. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get eaten. Oh god. But the, wait, does he have some like physical inability to walk? Or maybe he's just super fat. Is he shaking? Oh uh, yeah. Well, why wouldn't why wouldn't they? They they're about to be. How do you eat? Oh wait, what was his name? Check out that. I, oh god, I keep forgetting his accents. What is his accent? Check that out, Ace. That looks to be a large birdcage look contraption from here. And what I'm, from what I'm seeing, it looks like all our friends are locked up. E even our king. How's it not trying to use that reactor yield uh, on our trying to find that cage down on the down so we can set him free? Sorry, guys, I keep forgetting his accent. Okay. I, okay, there's a computer with a wide looking thing. So I'm guessing, yep, I go there. Control panel. A mechanical operating board used for maneuvering in which the winch in Garten's Keep. Okay, so I guess I go towards that. Kick. Okay, here we are. Black screen. That's always something bad. Bingo, just what we're looking for. Now, go on now. Push that button on, drop her down. Let's get out of here. What was that? That ought to have done the trick. Head on over to that cage and now get him the heck out of there. Jump. Wait, do I just jump through? Wait, I don't know. Do I just jump through? Let me jump through! Please! Oh, well, there's, there's, there's literally an entrance. Couldn't you guys just leave your damn king? Or just push him out? Couldn't you have done that? You could have escaped. I'm the only one intelligent here. I've lost my memories, but I'm still the most intelligent. Hip, hip, hooray! Help has finally arrived! Oh, I'm guessing that's the king. It's always the king. Snort! What do you think you're doing, kid? That's my, oh, I'm guessing that's Boshok. Oh, B -B -B Boshok! Oh, oh no! He he's caught on to us before we can make a break for it! What? As I think things in the cage are settling down down, a little old rat sneaks in here to shake things up! Are you infected? J just tell me. I, I know a doctor. He can help. Okay. Like I said before, all you orcs need a dentist. You need a like a, you need an optometrist and probably plastic surgery. What in tarnation? Is that a reactor? Are you part of a pesky resistance? Hmm. Here I was thinking that I ate the rest of those losers. How the heck did I get that one get away? 
That ain't no fun! Your pesky punch jaw left a bad taste in my mouth last time! Literally, did you? So you think you can sneak in here from behind all bullshots back and let my afternoon snacks escape, did ya? Now then, that's about as far as you go, boy! My stomach starts to rumble, meaning only one thing right now. It's time for me to eat, boy, and I'm gonna pick each and every one of those bones clean. <laughs> I can't do that for Attack. This is actually kind of cool since the first boss in Joker 1 was an orc, I am pretty sure. Yeah, that's what you... Oh, and the music. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Fight. Ooh, yes, I got one of them. Attack. You missed. How could you miss? I hate you. Okay, you're attacking. Hopefully, you're gonna. Oh, wait, you've got beast mode? Okay, that's good. Fire breath! Go on, Ron. 13. 7! How much things do I literally have now? Zaku! Bojo! Zero damage! Damn it! Okay, we killed one of them. 23! Whoa! Oh, that's asleep now. That's good. Frizz! Who are you frizzing? Yes, frizz him. All attacks on him. Fire times 1.2. Wait, is that gonna do more damage? Okay, that's good. Uh, guys, it's psyching up. That This is bad. No! Oh, god. That didn't do much, actually. I think they one shot him. Fire breath! Let it out, Ron! Are you dead yet? Why are you not dead yet? Okay, what, the second one's dead. I just need to kill the actual boss. Come on! Okay, I think it's. He, yeah, he's definitely gonna die this turn. Freeze him! Burn all his awesome hair is off. Burn his hair off. Okay, yep, you have to be dead. Come on. Yep, we got him. Guys, we got him. 25 XP, wow. Wait, Felix, that only got you. You should be getting... Wait, do you guys get... Oh, five skill points, five skill points. Okay, Felix. Come on, what, what are you... Wait, what, what did, okay, I'm gonna put you on, uh, on more crack. Goo, come on. Who are you? okay, slime. Oh, you learned zap, that's really good. Spiky, how you doing, Spiky? Uh, Shin Splinter. I never heard of that, actually. Oh, yeah, and soon I have to upgrade the wisdom and stuff like that. It'll help a lot. Okay. We did it, guys. We defeated the king of Bullshock. Well, the king of Glutton's... What, what's it called? Glutton's Keep. Hell in the... I got whooped. Damn you, your pesky little resistance. What are you doing, Spear? Oh, you're just gonna go there. Wow, I just realized how big he is. Yay, I violently murdered somebody. And they just disappeared into thin dust. Oh, he wait, how, how am I going to sound him? Oh, human, you've done well to rescue us, young one. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Nakara King. Oh, look at that. 
a human who fights along monsters. You are indeed the monster master, spoken of in our legends. That appearance as well, it is as Boshok noticed, you are undoubtedly a member of the resistance. Hell no. What the heck is the resistance? I see, and yet you claim to know nothing of the resistance. That's quite, quite odd, and your reactor would merely be a decoration. You've lost your memories, then. In any case, it sounds like the Nokarin was the one who requested your assistance. We owe you our lives, little one, but I'd be more than happy to part my wisdom than my life. <laughs> Alrighty, men, give me a lift back to Woodpark. We shall meet you there and discuss further details of your situation. I have something of my own that I wish to discuss with you in detail, young master. Okay, we have killed Borshok. Now to go. Okay, jump. Okay, I think we can just. Oh, wait, we can just zoom. To back to Wood Park, I think, right? I'm not sure, yes? Zoom. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's just cool. He literally just flies. Here we are at Lo Wood Park. There are a bunch of people here now, which is awesome. Hi, King. How you doing? There's Jack and the wife. What's her name again? Welcome back, Ace. First, allow me to formally thank you for saving the entire Knocker Road race. Now, as we discussed earlier, Ace, allow me to go over a few details with you. In a time not so far ago, that we Nokoro live peacefully here among the Silent Meadows. Oh wait, I actually skipped it. Take me back! However, where there exists darkness, there also must exist a light. The resistance was formed in order to fend off these creatures of darkness, aided by their devices known as reactors. Among the resistance, there was one member who had the ability to tame monsters, working alongside them. This courageous monster master rose up and fought valiantly against those creatures of darkness. However, he was outnumbered. The resistance ultimately collapsed along with him, under the weight of those minions of the dark. Shortly after, we were forced to live under the rule of the break monsters with no hope and all dreams faded. Help me! And yet you are here, Ace. It would seem as though the Monster Master's law lives on through you. You are our last ray of hope, so you can restore the light back into our world and get rid of the break monsters. Listen well, Ace. You must continue to grow your abilities as a Monster Master. Unlocking your latent abilities will be the key to recovering your memories as well. What? What's, what's going on? I'd like you to pay a visit to the monolith up above. It will lead you to a sacred ground only accessible to Monster Masters. We refer to the sacred ground as the Virtual Colosseum. You'll be tested there and may awaken some of your latent powers. When you have finished making your preparations, head up to the monolith. I pray that you succeed, Ace. Why is it lagging so much now? Jump! Please, just jump. Am I gonna fall off? For a second, I thought I was gonna fall off. Okay, wait, do I just click you? What do I do? Oh, it just teleports me, okay. I thought I was supposed to, like, walk into it or something. This is the Virtual Coliseum. 
an institute created for the sole purpose of exclusively training monster masters. Here I am. I must apologize. I have no physical form to greet you with. I am part of an artificial intelligence system tasked with maintaining this facility. You can call me Theresa. I'll always. Oh, okay. You can call me Theresa. I will be your instructor. Ah, no. Oh, God. You know, I'm just going to use my normal voice. Allow me one moment to confirm that you are an authorized user of this training facility. Another scan. My scan indicates that Ace is indeed confirmed. Now registering this monster's information. You have been identified as Master Hashtag 169344. Welcome to training, Master Ace. It is at this time I would like you to proceed by issuing your Monster Master licensing. Upon the completion of the specific license exam, you will be granted the ability to ran land ride your monsters. Wait, this is it. Okay, this is awesome. That was like one of the reasons I even got this game. This ability will allow you to mount a monster and ride it across the land portion of the vast areas you will encounter. Expanding your horizon and taking advantage of this opportunity is a key step on our journey ahead. At this time, Master Race will begin the C rank Monster Master license exam. Please proceed into the game. Okay, so just go forward. Jump! Okay, see, see now it's good. Look at this. Ahead lies the C rank license exam. Will you be participating? Yes. Before, before we begin, allow me to explain the rules for the license exam, Master Ace. Each exam is made up of three different battles. If you're able to win each round, you have successfully completed the exam. For the exam, you may only use active monsters. You're also be forbidden from using items or giving orders to your monsters. Choosing to flee will also re result in immediate failure. Those are the rules for the exams. I wish you luck and for your success, Master Ace. Before we again begin, allow me to restore your monster team to their peak condition. Okay, good. That That's actually what I was waiting for. Now then, let us begin the C rank license exam. Okay, we got a slime, a spiked hair, and what was the last one? Oh, the ordinary onion. Attack! Use crack. Okay, we killed one. We killed the ordinary onion. Frizz. Attack. Good job. You killed your own kind. Oh yeah, and because I think because he used the fire move before, I think he does more damage. Seven attack him. Oh yeah, guys, I need to ask you something. Should I replace this my slime with the orc I have? Because I scouted an orc last time. Should I replace that? Or should I just train it and then synthesize it? Wait, how do you even synthesize in this game? Is there synthesizers in this game? Hopefully there is. It's been every single game. Great work, Master Ace. Let's move on to second round. Four monsters against you. We got a Bulby baby, we got a big cat, and we've got this. What? What is that? It doesn't even show the name. How mean! Okay, good. He's asleep. Attack! Use crack! Okay, this is gonna kill somebody, definitely. No matter who it hits, it's gonna kill somebody. No? Okay, now, yep, it's gonna kill. Is this gonna kill everybody? Oh, we, okay, we killed two people. Okay, that thing's dead. 
Attack! Eight damage and we've beaten round two! I'm guessing round three has four monsters. Possibly. Do not let you guard down! This fight will be your most difficult one yet! Oh yeah, by the way, you might think there's a bit of echoing. Yes, I knew there was four. Of course there is four! What is A? Sorry for the clicks, I think there's a click. Every time I touch my keyboard, it makes that noise. You zap! Use Thunderbolt! Okay, this should kill one person. At least one per- one- one thing. Nothing? Okay, yep. Yeah, one's gonna die this one. One or two? Two. Okay, now just the bullfinches are available to die. Miss! Yeah, you get wrecked. Your accuracy sucks. Use that! Finish him off! And we have gotten, we have beaten round three and got really high in levels. 100 XP, serious? That was a lot. Okay, Felix. Okay, I'll put two on you so you just learn feet and slash. I'll put, but I'll put the rest on you. You, what, what would you do? Do you need speed? I feel like you're not gonna be my speed, but you're gonna be my healer. Yeah, you're probably probably gonna be my healer. Spike, you're gonna be... Spiky, sorry. You're gonna be... Probably, I'm gonna think a speed boost. And one fire breather. Are you kidding me? Two equals. Oh, whoa. Sorry for the little like feedback. I don't even know what that is. Excellent work! You have successfully completed this rank of the Virtual Coliseum Monster Master Exam. You have successfully earned your C rank license. I will now issue your C rank license. Ace has earned their C rank license. With this license, you have earned, now earned the land ride ability, granting you ability to ride monsters in the field. You've also received another ability. We call it double speed battles. If you press the R button while in combat, you can speed up the animations and flow of the entire battle. Surely, with your skill level, you'll be no trouble at battling all at a faster pace. Okay, that's really good. Yes, because the battle thing, that, that's going to help my training so much. These are the abilities that I can bestow upon you for earning your C-Rank license. Now that I've prepared a land ride tutorial for you to experience, after leaving the examination room, please proceed to the tutorial to exit the Virtual Coliseum. Congratulations on your newly acquired abilities and welcome to the land riding tutorial. The monolith in front of you has already been disabled and is the only way you can exit this place. You need to find a key for it. The key lies upon the st stairway. To climb these stairs, you need to ride a monster up to the top. Open your... Yep. We got it. Using the X. Oh, here it is. Okay, who should we ride, guys? I want to ride my slime, because slime's literally awesome. Probably, probably the jail cat. And maybe, and probably the orc. I'm trying to scan more monsters. So if I press. Yes! While riding on one of your monsters, you can overall jump height increases drastically. Ah, God. Drastically. Now you can climb up the stairs. Ride your way to the top of the stairway to your right. Oh, yes. Jump. 
Okay, this is just cool. Obtain the monolith key. Okay, this is just cool. It appears that you found the monolith key. Now it's time to reactivate the monolith and leave this place. What do I do that? Do I just put it there? Wait, I want to ride my gel cat. Okay, we go. Wait, that's on it. It's T, isn't it? Oh, that's just cool. What about my orc? What's my attack? Oh, I can just spear a guy. No, I, I like my slime. I think it's gonna be my main. Activate the monolith! Congratulations, Master Race. You've mastered the land ride ability and reactivated the monolith. Land riding will surely prove to be an invaluable ability during your travels. Use it to your advantage. That concludes the land ride tutorial. We did it, guys! We got the land ride! Ability, I'm so happy about that. Hmm, you made it back, Ace. I would seem you've obtained, obtained new abilities as well. Yes, I see. You are now able to use the land ride ability with your monsters. That is just as I thought. Many latent abilities still re remain to you, within you, for you to awaken. Perhaps now, Ace, I have a new request for you. Utilizing your newly obtained first. First, I need you. I first, I'll need to locate a bullfinch, battle it, and befriend it by the way of your scout ability. You'll start by heading east from here, and then south to the next area. That's where the bullfinch bullfinch seem to roam. Once you befriend it, bring back. God, I am losing my English. Befriend a bullfinch. Come back in. Show me. I need to confirm that you can land ride it. Okay guys, I think that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um yeah, we finally got the land right tutorial the land right skill. Finally, I've been waiting for this for like three years. So yes. Um Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe. See ya peeps.